They have the total national income is 15, uh, what, uh, what does the program mean? Naira. And the total national consumption is 300 million naira. Right? Then, the APC is what? The APC is what? The APC is what? Don't forget, we have been able to establish that APC is equal to what? Consumption over income. Consumption over income. So what is the value of the consumption? 300 million. And uh, income is what? 1,500 million miles. And you divide this, what are you going to get? 0. 0. 0.2. So on the average level, the average capacity to consume is what? 0. 0. 0.2. The average capacity to consume is 0. 0.2. So this question is on APC. Don't forget, coming from national income. All right. So this is question one. Let's look at another question. Another question. Another question. Really. And if total national income increases. If total national income yes increases from 1460 million increases from yes 1460 million 1460 million naira right yes good to, yes to 1535 million 1535 million and total national consumption increases and total national consumption, national consumption, consumption. increases. Total national consumption increases from six hundred and thirty million. Increases from yes, six hundred and thirty million naira. Six hundred and thirty million naira to six hundred and sixty million. To six hundred and sixty million, right? Yes. Then NPC. Yes. Then. Then. NPC will be plus. NPC will be plus. Is what? All right. Yeah. NPC is what? Now, look at the question. If the total national income increases from where? One thousand four hundred and sixty billion to what? One thousand five hundred and five billion. And total national consumption increases from 630 to what? 660. I told you we want to look for the change. We want to look for the change. We want to look for the change. So let's see. What is the formula for NPC? NPC is equal to change in consumption over what? Change in income. All right. So let's. Look for change in consumption first. So total national consumption increases from where? 630 million to So increase means 660 minus 630. All in million, right? What is the answer? It is what? 30 million naira. This is change in consumption. Then let's calculate change in income. Change in income. So if the total, if total national income increases from where? From this place, 1,460 million to 1,535 million. So now change in income is equal to the new one, 1,535 million minus 1,460 million. What will be our answer? 75. That is 75 million naira. Alright? So the question. The question is what is the NPC? What is the NPC? Therefore, NPC is equal to yes. What is changing consumption? 30 million naira. Over what is changing income? 75 million naira. What would that give us? 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 0.40 
that will be our answer. That is the MPC, marginal propensity to consume. Marginal propensity to consume. Don't forget, MPC is change in consumption over change in income. And total national savings. In total national savings, yes? Is 60 million naira. Is 60 million naira, yes? Total national income is 600 million. And the total national income is 600 million. Is 600 million naira, yes? Then the AB, yes. Then the AB, yes. APS is what? Is what? Is what? So how do we determine APS? APS is equal to, is equal to what? Savings over income. What is our savings? 60 million naira. What is our income? 600 million naira. What is the answer? What is the answer? This cancel this. Yes. We have 6 over 60. 6 divided by 60 gives us what? 0.1 Very simple, isn't it? Very, very simple. Very simple. So if the total national income increases from where? From 450 million naira to 570 million naira and leads to a rise in total national savings. Alright? That is very simple. Please look up everyone. Let us consider Mr. X. Who was receiving 450 million naira before? But now the guy is receiving 570 million naira. You can see life has changed. Isn't it? Life has changed. Therefore, you should expect uh, another increase. Alright? You should expect increase in savings. Do you understand? Why? Because the income has increased. So we have that if the total national income increases from this to this and leads to a rise of total national savings from 46 million naira to 106 million naira. Then what is NPS? What is NPS? So what is the formula for NPS? NPS is equal to changing savings over what? Changing income. So like I told you, we calculate for change in national savings first. Change in national savings. Rising from where to where? Right? This is the new. This is the old. Don't forget, it is going to be new savings minus old savings. Do you understand? Good. So what is the new savings? 106 million naira minus old. That is 46 million naira. Then that's going to give us what? Again. 60 million naira. That is the change in S. Now let us capture change in Y. Change in Y. What is the old income? What is the new? 570. So which one is coming first? 570 minus 450. So what do we have? 120 million naira. So this is our change in income. So we have therefore NPS will give us what is our change in X? 60 million naira divided by 120 million naira. Then what is going to be FPS? 0 0.5. So this gives us our NPS. This gives our NPS. Let us have a recapture. It told us the first point to note that 
income in itself is a combination of consumption and savings. And it can also be a combination of consumption and investment, isn't it? Very good. And don't forget, provided your saving is equal to your what? Investment. So we started from this. And I told us that for every individual, there is always a propensity to save and propensity to consume. Then if you want to estimate that on average level, we say that we have what we call average propensity to consume, which is given by consumption over income. And there is always what we call average propensity to save, which is given by savings over income. Are we there? What if we have the case that the income increases from a certain amount to a certain amount and the saving increases as, as well from a certain amount to a certain amount? There's going to be margin, isn't it? And that's what we call the marginal propensity to save and marginal propensity to consume. And it is given, as we have captured, it said MPC, which is marginal propensity to consume is given by changing consumption over changing income. Then our MPS, that is marginal propensity to save, will be given as change in savings over change in income. And that gives us a capture of what we have. Is that the everyone? Yes. Very good.